Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Top 10 Tunes where we count down the top 10 cartoons of a variety of subjects involving all your favorite cartoons. New, old, it doesn't matter. Every now and then we come across a movie or an episode of a cartoon where some of our favorite characters transform into something new. Now I'm not talking about just changing forms, I'm talking about becoming something out of their own control. Whether it was because of a dark curse or a magic potion, the characters are suddenly transformed into another creature. Today, we are here to count down the top 10 best transformation in cartoons. Now to keep this less simple, we must set a few ground rules. The transformations must be uncommon and out of the ordinary. So if a character regularly transforms, they are off the list. The spots will be determined by the reactions of the characters transformed, the new form taken, how long the transformation lasts, and how it affects the plot of the story. So sit back, watch that tale now, and enjoy the top 10 toon transformation! Hey, it worked! Number 10 Appearing for the second time on the show, the donkey transformation scene from Pinocchio definitely leaves a lasting impression. Pinocchio might not be the most lighthearted Disney movie, but when the misbehaving children are transformed into donkeys against their will, it causes nightmares for children of all ages. The scene where Lapwick transforms is the most powerful of all. After many boys venture to Pleasure Island, they begin to transform into donkeys for all their misdeeds. Lapwick's transformation is completely shown on screen as we see him slowly change. Large ears pop out of his head and a tail protrudes from his pants, ripping a hole in them. Then he suddenly has a complete doggy head as he realizes what he's becoming. He screams in terror as he looks in the mirror and sees his new face. He begins to panic and run around as his transformation continues. His arms become hooves as he begins to reach the final stage of his transformation. With one final shout, he completely changes into a donkey, running around in a frenzy kicking everything in sight. It was quite a powerful scene and truly a transformation worth remembering. Number 9 Not so fast, Mojo Pops? What happens when you take a magic Anubis head statue and give it to a mad scientist ape? You get a town full of dog transformation. No one is safe from Mojo Jojo's evil scheme, not even the narrator. Walk on you Mojo Jojo! How dare you turn man into man's best friend you evil! <laughs> Mojo Jojo has had some crazy schemes over the years, but none has been as nutty as the time he turned all of the world into dogs. Mojo Jojo uses the Anubis head to make the townsfolk into his dog slaves, stealing jewels to power his magic beam enough to encompass the entire world. Even the Powerpuff Girls are not safe from Mojo Jojo's magic. Mojo sends his hounds after the girls, and although they may not be as strong as before, they take them down easily. However, using her doggy instincts, Buttercup bites Mojo in the butt, causing him to toss the Anubis statue into the air, hitting his head and reversing all the transformation magic back into himself, transforming him into a dog too. This was a silly little episode that aired in the first season of the show, but it was popular enough that it got a sequel later on. After all, who doesn't love a little transformation? <laughs> You're no threat now. Number 8 Gotta hide, gotta hide! Double duh! Make a monkey out of me! Lucky Chan Adventures is a show about who else? Jackie Chan, who goes on adventures with his niece Jade and his uncle named Uncle. In the first season of the show, the trio venture off to find the 12 Zodiac Talismans that each have different powers. One of which is the Monkey Talisman with the power to make others transform into animals. Ratso? Whoa! In the episode debuting this talisman, we have Jade and Jackie Chan shipwreck on a jungle island after fighting off the Dark Hand. It is here where Jade tries to hide from the Dark Hand by transforming herself into a monkey. 
Great plan! Except another monkey steals the talisman from her, and so she gets stuck in a dangerous jungle in a monkey body. We quickly see that the monkey life is not as easy as it looks, as jungle creatures and even other monkeys prove to be problems for her. She tries to tell her Uncle Jack about what has happened, but he's oblivious to her situation. Oh, an arrow! Oh, thank you, little monkey! There have been other moments in the show where characters transformed into animals, and even demons. But the original monkey transformation is the most memorable. Jade stays as a monkey for a rather long time, and we see a glimpse of the monkey life while she's in that form. No monkeying around! This is one great transformation episode! <laughs> Number 7 What happened? Pika? Pikachu? How did you guys get so big? Um, you're a... Is that really you, Ash? What? Why are you guys looking at me like I've got two heads or something? Now this one really came out of nowhere. Pokemon is an anime about a boy named Ash, as he journeys across the land to catch Pokemon and become the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world. Who would have guessed in a show like that that there would be a moment where the person transformed into another creature? But that is exactly what happened in Pokemon Master Quest. A Pokemon magician named Lily suddenly comes across our heroes. She is looking for a Pikachu to help finish her spell to allow people to get into the minds of Pokemon. After a crazy adventure to gather all the materials, Lily finally completes her spell and Ash volunteers to be the guinea pig in her test. It goes awry and instead of reading Pikachu's mind, Ash is transformed into a Pikachu instead. Ash doesn't realize what happened at first, but his reaction as soon as he sees himself in the mirror is priceless. After panicking for a while, he learns that the spell is only temporary and realizes that this is a great opportunity to be a Pokemon. This is awesome! I'm a Pikachu! It was a short-lived transformation, as it only lasts a minute or so in total, but the initial reaction and the slow reveal made this transformation worthwhile. Why? Why are you guys looking at me like I've got two heads or something? No, there's just one, but look. Number 6 are going to welcome a new girl. Villains transforming into dragons is nothing new. We've seen it many times, most notably in Sleeping Beauty. But what really sets this transformation apart is the slow transformation and Lamilla's obliviousness to her changes. Bartok the Magnificent is a rather unappreciated movie about the clumsy bat sidekick to Anastasia's villain Rasputin, as he goes on a journey to save the prince by using a magic potion to become the manifestation of his inner self. Unfortunately, the evil Lamilla takes the potion from him and uses it on herself, expecting to become a beautiful and powerful queen. However, she is not as gorgeous as she believes and instead slowly becomes the monster that she is on the inside. A huge thick tail bursts from her dress. Her hands grow in size as well as her womanly assets. Her thighs burst through her dress as she begins to grow and change color. Horns bulge out from her head. Finally, as she sings her final note, her transformation completes. The slow changes make this transformation entertaining as we see Lamilla change step by step, all with a song to accompany it. Number 5 I I feel so strange my hands my face my tail There have been many occasions in the Aladdin cartoon show where the characters have transformed a woman transformed into a jackal Aladdin was transformed into a shark, the ever popular snake transformation that Jasmine and Aladdin went through, and of course the countless genie transformation. But I decided to go for the double transformation of Iago and Jasmine in the episode Do the Rat Thing. Jasmine goes out to the market to try to spend the day as a street rat to learn how life was for Aladdin. She steals a magic mirror from a blind merchant and is punished by being changed into a rat, with Iago coming along for the ride as a frilled lizard. 
What makes this one stand out above the rest is that while the others have been big transformations, they still had a hint of the original form. When Jasmine was transformed into a street rat, she looked unrecognizable. Also, since the transformation was so sudden, her reaction was much more shocking than the others. We see as Jasmine and Iago try their best to return to normal while facing the dangers of being a rat, like being chased off by bystanders and even her own friends. It gives her some real insight into the lives of the peasants around her and even of being a helpless little animal. And to make the transformation even better, when she does finally reveal herself, she has transformed some more until she stays as the princess she once was. Well, for the most part. My beautiful princess, it's a rat. Sorry, Wazoo. <laughs> I guess she's more my type than yours after all, eh? <laughs> Number four. What's bigger than transforming everyone in the world into dogs? How about transforming the kids in the world into animals? Well that's exactly what happened in Codename Kids Next Door. Kids Next Door is a show about an organization of kids across the world that fight adult tyranny. And in this case they took on more than they could chew. The KND's most powerful villain father unleashes a beam of energy that transforms all the members of the Kids Next Door into animals. The Kids Next Door learn of his plans and all band together to stop him. But try as they might, they cannot stop the effects of the ray and also come to the effects. Even Sector V, the best team of operatives in the organization, could not stop Father and his plan. Number 5 had turned into a gazelle. Number 4 into a koala. 3 into a crane. 2 into a hippo. And number 1 into a seal. The animalization beam gets most of the operatives as they retreat to their moon base. However, the beam soon reaches them too, and every single operator becomes an animal. All except number T. Yes, number T. Long story. By quitting the K&D and removing his booger from the code module, Tommy is safe from the effects. He then gets the snot from father, adding it to the code module and transforming him into a panther, saving the kids next door. This episode was full of animal transformations. Thousands of kids were transformed, and unlike the Powerpuff Girls, each kid was transformed into a different animal, making it exciting to see which animal each of the characters would transform into. Number 3 You don't look that much different, but how'd you get way up there? And how'd I get way down here and all this? <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Disney to make transformations memorable, and the journey that Tiana and Prince Naveen take in the movie The Princess and the Frog is certainly that. It's the classic tale of the frog prince told through Disney animation. Prince Naveen lost his body and was transformed into a frog by an evil shadow man and his voodoo. He soon finds a way to Tiana, expecting her kids to cure him. But Tiana is no princess, and so she falls under the curse as well. And now the two must venture across the land to find the voodoo priestess Mama Odie to change him back into humans. But it ain't easy being green, as the slimy duo soon learn. From predators to the evil Dr. Facilier, they run into many a trouble along the way. It's an entire Disney movie based around the transformation and the journey that two frog lovers take to return to normal. Now that is definitely worth a spot on this list. Easy, princess, princess, do not panic! What did you do to me? Number two. Oh, boss, do your oh no stuff. Ms. Frizzle. Transformations are nothing new in the world of the magic school bus. But when everyone turns into wild animals in the city, they have to learn to survive as their new species in order to find the bear of a bus and return to normal. The Magic School Bus is a classic educational cartoon based on the books of the same name. 
It stars Miss Frizzle and her class as they go on wild and crazy adventures as they learn about the world around them. And in this episode, they learn about wild animals in the city. And what better way than by becoming animals themselves? Foxes, falcons, possums, and raccoons. The class go throughout the city in search of the bus as it ran away as soon as it changed into a bear. They separate and try their best to get back to the bus and survive in the dangerous city. The class learns about how each of their species survive firsthand as they find food and shelter, as well as escape from predatorial dogs. It's a fun and educational look at life in the wild, but in the city. It's a fun and unique concept chuck full of learning experiences that I'm sure the class won't soon forget. Come on! Let's fly, Carlos! Hey, wait for us! Number one! always dreamed about flying, that I was a bird and that I could go sailing all over the sky, high above everything. It's my favorite dream. Oh, but then I suppose everybody dreams about flying. I'm a bird, I'm a bird, I'm a bird! <laughs> now this movie certainly had its fair share of transformation. The Sword in the Stone is a classic Disney movie about a young King Arthur before he pulls Excalibur from the stone as Merlin the Magician teaches him how to become a great king by what else? Transforming him into different animals. Wart, as Arthur is known by, crashes into Merlin's house and it is there that Merlin and Archimedes the Owl begin training him. Merlin starts off by changing Wart into a goldfish, but life as a little fish is far from easy as he learns the hard way. A large carnivorous fish begins to chase the two. Using his brain, Wart outlets the fish and the two return to normal. The next day, Merlin takes Wart out to spend the day as a squirrel, which is personally my favorite scene of the movie. Wart and Merlin jump from tree to tree and soon encounter other squirrels, who seem to have a certain fascination with our two squirrely pals. <laughs> Try as he might, Wart can't get away from the squirrel girl as she chases him around in a mating chase while Merlin soon has his own pollen with his own chunky mate. Soon, Wart falls into the clutches of a wolf, but fear not, for his squirrely lover is there to save the day. That's enough for Merlin, and so he transforms himself and Wart back into humans, much to the dismay of the squirrel girl. She watches Sally as her love walks away. It's actually a really sad scene that really pulls at your heartstrings. Afterwards, we get our last wart transformation as Merlin secretly changes him into a bird and tasks Archimedes to teach him to fly. Wart quickly gets the hang of it and he enjoys flying around as a bird, but there can never be an animal transformation without a predator, and this time it's a hawk. Wart escapes by falling in the chimney of Mad Madam Mim, who later has a transformation duel with Merlin. If you wanted transformations, you've got it. The two constantly change into different animals as they battle it out. It's an amazing duel and really sets this movie high up on the list. Not only did we see a few transformations with Merlin and Wart, but we also get to see a huge battle of transformations. Definitely worth the number one spot on this list. Now, now Mim, Mim, no, no dragons, remember? Did I say no purple dragons? Did I? And there you have it, the top 10 Toon Transformations! If there are any other great transformation moments in cartoons, be sure to share them in the comments below and give everyone a whole new look. But for now, it's time for... Toon Last episode we made a poll to find out which generation of cartoons most of the viewers grew up watching. 70s and older, 80s and 90s, or 2000s onward. Now for the results! The majority is... A tie between 80s and 90s and 2000s onward. Keeping hip with the newest tunes on the block. Now for the next... Tune Tally. Cartoon Reboot. How do you feel about rebooting classic cartoons for a new generation? Like Muppet Babies, The Powerpuff Girls, Samurai Jack, DuckTales, and so on. Yay or nay? Vote by clicking the I in the top right corner or by clicking the link in the description below. Come back next episode to see whether the old tunes should be left buried or be reborn. Thanks for watching everyone and thank you all for subscribing. We have just passed the first milestone of 100 subscribers. Thank you all so much. 
It may not seem like a lot for some, but it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And you're all the best fans I could ask for. But if you're new here and want to join in the fun, you can subscribe by clicking the button right here. Join now and be a part of the next milestone. Also, be sure to leave your suggestion for next episode's list. Top 10 Toons vs Battles we'd love to see. Who would you like to see face off against one another? It could be a test of skill, speed, combat, intelligence, anything. Leave your suggestion in the comments below and it just might make it onto the list. Thanks again for all that you do to keep the show running and see you all next time. addition to my collection of dumb animals. Collection? You evil enchantress, look what you've done to my beautiful body! Oh, though I do have lovely plumage, don't you think? Swinger. Wait, how do I know you're Kim and not a real monkey? A talking real monkey? I was taking pictures of some machine when something happened to me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's turned you into a cat. Yes. That's why I must go back and reverse what happened. No way. I'm not letting you out of this room. Of course, if you insist on going. Do you feel it? I feel strange. What you feel is a sensation of your humanity being erased, bit by bit. The sensation of every cell in your body. Making a wondrous transformation so that you may be my queen. Can someone rub my ears? Raimundo? No! Ooh, never knew my paws taste so yummy. Anybody have a ball of yarn? I find yarn most fascinating. <laughs> Wowee, I'm a kitty cat. I am so mad at you! You just transformed into a dog. Beast Boy's blood must have given us the power to turn into animals. I wish to turn into the animal. Oh, I am the adorable. Meow, 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 meow. I'm thirsty. Refreshing. Rock, this is so cool! The bad guys are making half-human animals. But why? Shortage of new exhibits at the local zoo? Hey guys, I'm hungry. How about we talk about this over a tasty saucer of milk? Our turn! Now to wander into Gil's backyard. So he will find us and hold us and pet us and love us. <laughs> Time for Operation Cuddle Bunnies. Let's see how Gil and Gil's dog likes us now. We're such geniuses. Now shall you deal with me, O oh Prince, and all the powers of hell! <laughs> oh, oh, no.
You are Juna Pelin, no? The one everyone's talking about. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Whoa. Careful, little one. Go in slowly. Trust me, it takes some time getting used to... Getting used to what? What happened? Oh, man, my head's killing me. Maybe I just need to drink some water and...